Many of you will text message, blog, make phone calls, walk your neighborhoods, and just talk to friends, associates, and neighbors. These methods of engaging will be major elements of informing people of the issues and of the coalition's position. As you do this, please do so in a sensitive manner. Our approach must always be with respect for others and their, their positions and opinions. Please understand that the central message of the Savior is to love all of our brothers and sisters. Remember, there are good people who disagree with the church's teachings on marriage. Others are unsure of where they stand. Be respectful of their opinions as you share your message. Nothing we say here can be used as an excuse to treat those with same gender attraction harshly or disrespectfully. In today's secular world, the idea of tolerance has come to mean something entirely different. Instead of love, it has come to mean condone, acceptance of wrongful behavior as the price of friendship. Jesus taught that we love and care for one another without condoning transgression. But today's politically palatable definition insists that unless one accepts the sin, he does not tolerate the sinner. There are those who vigorously promote beliefs and practices contrary to our own. They have the right of free speech granted in our Constitution. So do we. We can vigorously promote our beliefs and practices. We can do so with great conviction and also with great love. Some ask what is wrong when marriage is granted to those of the same gender as was done by the California Supreme Court. I've already stated one reason. It is contrary to God's plan. In addition, the court's decision will inevitably lead to conflicts with religious liberty, freedom of association, and free speech rights. The freedom of families to raise children in an atmosphere that values and supports the unique importance of marriage between a man and a woman will be lost. Society will become more and more hostile to traditional beliefs about marriage and family. People in private institutions with beliefs that oppose same-sex marriage will increasingly be labeled as intolerant and subjected to legal penalties or social ostracism. And this will not be limited to California as its powerful influence is felt across the country. My dear brothers and sisters, let me reemphasize the need for love, compassion, and humility as we move forward in this important cause. This is especially true for families in the wards you attend who face special challenges as a result of this issue. As a church, we do not get involved in supporting candidates or political parties. But when there are moral issues, the First Presidency has always felt that it was important for our members to stand up and support those that are significant to the gospel of Jesus Christ and the restored church. And so we, uh, without concern, go to the membership of the church after the call of the First Presidency to ask you to give your best to this most significant effort to support in every way possible the sacred institution of marriage as we know it to be.